Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So just as with all humans in the world, sometimes we do some things which we then think to ourselves, why did we do this? So after being on a carnivore-based diet for around 31 days, I decided to get my girlfriend a custom vegan paleo cake that apparently is super, super clean. And I list out the ingredients in a short while and you see why it is seen as super, super clean. Because, yeah, my girlfriend is not as strict as me with her diet at all because she didn't have loads and loads of issues going on unlike me and that's why I made the dietary switch after being vegan for around six years. If you don't know about why I made the switch, there'll be a link for the video up above. So leading up until the point of trying some of this cake that I ordered for her, I had been feeling absolutely amazing. All of my health issues and symptoms, mentally, physically, emotionally, digestive wise, had just gone from eating an abundance of meat, fish and eggs and other animal based foods that are pasture raised, grass fed, antibiotic free, hormone free from the cleanest sources possible so the most nutrient dense and so it's not full of loads of toxic crap. So yes, this cake, I ordered it for her and if you want to know the ingredients it's bananas which most people don't think bananas are that bad cacao cinnamon ginger dark chocolate almonds coconut flour tapioca starch dates coconut oil coconut flour nectar apple cider vinegar himalayan pink salt baking soda so there's a lot of carbohydrates in there there's a lot of fat as well not that much protein and yes it doesn't have refined salt in it, which is like the worst salt possible. It has the pink Himalayan salt in it. It hasn't got any canola oil in it or high fructose corn syrup or white sugar. It's completely gluten free. So when you look at this, especially I remember when I was a vegan, and this is the reason why I bought this cake for her, is actually one of the most cleanest, healthiest vegan cakes that I have ever seen. And I know that she loves these types of things. So yeah, that's the reason why I got it for her. I didn't have any interest in trying it whatsoever. It was in the house for days and days and days. And then she's eating some, she offered me some, and I thought, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. Even though I've been feeling so amazing on this carnivore diet, I would just like to have a little bit. I don't have to have it. It wasn't like, oh my God, I must have this. This wasn't this like demon inside me. I was like, oh, yeah, that sort of interests me. You're eating it, so I'll try a bit, but Oh my God, if I knew what was gonna happen after consuming some of this cake, oh my God, I would have never have consumed it. So shortly after eating it, guess what? All of the fatigue that I'd eliminated from switching to a carnivorous based diet came back with a vengeance. So I ate this cake around 1 p.m. in the afternoon and then we went out and oh my God, it felt like a brick house was on top of my head so much extreme fatigue, it was so bad. So it ruined the rest of my day and about the next following six days as well. So that was the only symptom I sort of noticed on that day. Then I woke up in the morning, still felt so fatigued beyond belief. And then for days and days and days after then, oh my God, my girlfriend can vouch for this. I started being so emotionally unstable and I would get so emotionally overwhelmed at the smallest things, just this thing and that thing and that thing and that thing that was just not affecting me before once I'd switched to eating loads of animal foods because this is an issue that I used to have when being on a vegan diet. I just became an emotional mess and it was very hard for me to just live and be in this human experience is really hard for my girlfriend to deal with and she was like, what is going on with you? And I was like, is that cake, man? And when I was on a vegan diet, and I was feeling like this pretty much every single day, I didn't put two and two together and think it was a diet affecting me in a negative way. I thought it was something else, as so many vegans that are not thriving on a vegan diet. They tend to not blame the vegan diet. But obviously, once I switched to animal-based foods, I realized that it was the foods that were vegan that was affecting me in a negative way. And other symptoms that came along, I just started getting so stressed out. My cortisol levels would go through the roof and adrenaline at the smallest things as well. I found that if I was editing a video or making a video, I just got so stressed out by it. It was just like so not good at all. So I'm fatigued, my body's getting stressed out, my adrenals are all over the show. It's just like, oh man, as you can see, if I'd known it was gonna happen, I wouldn't have done it, but I'm glad that it happened because it just made me so aware 
that switching to the diet that I've been on, I leading up until that point for around 30 days, is such a good diet for me because it's been making me feel the best that I've ever felt. And I thought, as I mentioned in a video that I link up above, the times when I thought I was feeling the best, I wasn't actually feeling the best. And the reason how I was able to work that out is once I switched to these animal-based foods, I reached the most optimal state of health within my mind and body holistically, and then I had a relative comparison to make. So I compared how I was feeling when I was feeling the best of the 30 days on this carnivorous-based diet to when I was vegan and feeling the best. And if I was to rate like how good I felt, once I made this dietary switch, it's like a 10 out of 10, 10 being the best, one being the lowest. On a vegan diet, it's like six, seven out of 10. So yeah, it's quite a huge difference. And then alongside that, all my digestive issues started to come along. I had constipation at first and diarrhea, it kept switching back and forth, gas and bloating. It's just like, oh man, this sucks that this is going on because I'd been feeling so good from eating these amazing animal foods that have been giving me all the nutrients that I've been lacking for such a long time on that vegan diet that was just malnourishing and made me deteriorate. So yeah, I just had to deal with all of these symptoms going on and it was just very hard for me to deal with and it was not a nice experience whatsoever to suffer like that. I was like, oh no, man, am I gonna be stuck like this again? Have I caused some permanent damage? But I didn't cause some permanent damage. I did get through it finally in the end and yeah oh it makes me even more determined to stay on the diet that i have been experimenting with because it's so amazing in so many ways the benefits it's given me are profound i will be making a video soon so make sure you're subscribed make sure you click the bell notification button next subscribe button otherwise you'll not be notified of me talking about all the different amazing benefits that i got when doing this diet for around 30 days and the list of benefits are so many, it's so profound. I thought I would get some benefits but all the different benefits I got was just like mind blowing. So yeah, vegans, wake up. You think you're eating a lot of healthy things. I made a video on vegan gains. He did a junk food day and he was eating organic, gluten-free, white sugar-free cakes and he thought, oh, these are super clean, they're super healthy for you, they're not bad at all. But as you see in that response video, which I'll link up above, oh my God, he looks like he's not alive inside whatsoever. He looks like he's completely suffering. And he eats foods like this on a regular basis. And so many of the vegans tend to say, oh, it's not the vegan diet that's affected me in a negative way, it's due to this environmental factor, or due to this thing, or that thing, or that thing. And it's like, come on, wake up. Do you know how many vegans I see that are not thriving? and just have this type of mindset. It's like, Jesus Christ, stop dragging yourself through this really bad diet that just affects your whole human experience in a negative way. The emotions it bring up in me when I used to, when I, like man, seriously, how much I was suffering for so long in that vegan diet. And I thought it was so good to, for me because so, many vegan doctors and scientists and preachers out there just push their belief systems on you that are very dogmatic and idealistic and so much of the science is just complete pseudoscience and that it's just absolute garbage and it's like man i listened to these people and i just got so brainwashed and programmed for so long and i just stuck on that diet longer than was really necessary i was making myself just suffer more than i really needed to so yes People, if you're on a vegan diet and you're not feeling good, try something else. Try eating a lot of high quality animal foods and it might start to make you feel amazing. Like I keep seeing people time and time again. And guess what? So many people have switched to eating in a similar way to me because they've not been thriving on a vegan diet and they've been watching my content. And every single person that started eating animal foods, guess what? They all get benefits and no negative effects and they start to get a lot of their health issues and symptoms start to vanish very, very quickly. And you may be thinking, well, why did this vegan cake affect me so much? Well, one, it has still got a lot of processed things in it. It's also full of a lot of anti-nutrients and plant toxins, which I haven't been getting on the carnivorous diet. And just because I got to a point where I'd feel so amazing, I got to this relative point of my own experience where I could put two and two together and be like, okay, I felt this good on the carnivorous diet. This is how I used to feel on a vegan diet. And it just gave me this crystal clear picture that the vegan diet was not making 
me well in any way, shape or form. And I just kept eating these foods over and over again, which had these anti-nutrients in, which bind to most of the minerals, you can't absorb them. And then you start to become deficient like crazy. It affects the assimilation of so many other foods. Then I'm getting oxalates, salicylates, and all of these other plant toxins that irritate the guts, that have negative effects on your gut microbiome, on your mental health, your physical health, your digestion, and so many other things. So, yes, due to moving all of that garbage and going on a diet where it doesn't have all that crap in, of course I'm gonna to start to feel massively amazing. And the analogy that I want to make, that I meant to make a minute ago, is if you're someone that smoked for years and years and years, and then you don't smoke for like months in a row or years, and then you come back to it, the experience you're gonna get is gonna be really bad when you come back to it, like the first time you ever tried the cigarettes. But you didn't know at the time it was necessarily affecting you in a negative way because your body had become accustomed to not feeling good from the cigarettes and you become so used to it, it become your norm. And this is what happened with me. I got away from that vegan crap for so long, came back to it and went through hell and back. But oh well, it's all good. I've learned my lesson and it's made me become aware of a lot of things that I needed to become aware of. It's made for some very good video content <laughs> as well. So yeah, oh, keep that vegan crap away from me. It has nothing in that I need and so many things that I don't need. So that's it from me in this video. Don't forget to like, share, and leave your questions down below. And enjoy the rest of your amazing day. And oh man, I just had some amazing homemade burgers with no bun whatsoever, just the patties. And I had some organic pickles on them. Oh, so good. And some cheese made from raw milk. And wow, it was so, so amazing. And look how I am now. I feel so alive and so vibrant because it's exactly what my body needs. And guess what? Vegans, there's like no civilizations out there that don't eat animal foods. And in a natural environment, when we used to be tribal people, we'd be eating it as well. So instead of me going off a tangent anymore, that's the end of this video. So enjoy the rest of your day and catch you on the flip side. Peace.